Okay. So Albert Einstein, when he wrote his general theory of relativity, which is the understanding of gravity and the structure of space-time across the universe, mm -hmm. it would be applied that way by people like later than that theory. Right. He didn't do it all, but he laid the foundations for it. Okay. okay? In his equation, there's a mathematical term that if it had a physical reality, it would be an anti-gravity force. And Are we talking the famous E equals MC squared no, equation? No, no, oh, no, no. Okay, okay. So I was going to say. This is an equation for the universe, and he said, well, all the galaxies oh, in the universe. That's brilliant. I already see it. Wait, wait, wait. All no, the gra galaxies left to themselves would have the universe collapse Come onto on itself. Itself. Right. But, so, we, but we're not collapsing. Right. So this term oh, would be this pressure I'm force pushing against everything, keeping it in balance. But we don't know anything that's doing that. And then he said, then he discarded it as this non-physical thing that the math gave him, but it has no physical counterpart, and he called it his greatest blunder of his life. Until we discovered this negative gravity pressure in the universe, then it's called dark energy. The Nobel Prize was given for what he rejected, and so Einstein's biggest blunder was saying that was his biggest blunder. <laughs> so anyhow, that's he was wrong but right. God, that guy was just so smart. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, we're done here. All we right. out.